Good morning. Today is Monday, and I am off to work. A little bit of a late start today, but today's going to be more of a, a relaxed day. I'm going to be working on planning, micro planning for all the, all the different projects this week. I'm going to be planning out really the next month going through September. So my hope is that, you know, dude with the dumpster, my hope is that I can have everything planned out this week so I can get everything I want to get done done this month. Well, hello again. End of day wrap up. End of day. Well, I got a lot of planning done today. A lot of planning done. And tomorrow I'm going to be primarily focused on writing. And that might be the case for the, re the remaining days in this week, which is the rest of this week. So, what am I going to be writing? I'm going to be writing the, uh, the blog posts for the website. I'm going to be working on the content for the website like I planned on last week. Uh, that kind of got all thrown to hell when I started the YouTube channel. All my, all my focus went there, which is good. I needed to get that going uh, so I could kind of stay up with every uh, video and you know, as they come out, as these come out. So, but this week is going to be a good week for writing, and I'll hit you up with all the updates starting tomorrow. So, with that being said, that's it for today. Just got done working out and then heading home to see the family. See you in the morning. It's a long game. Well, good morning. It's Tuesday, and I'm off. I'm off to work. Today, be working on writing. Plan to write all day. What? I'm still in the air because I got to go where my uh, creativity is. And I may start somewhere and it end somewhere else. So I'll hit you back up with a midday or late day update. But something I wanted to talk about, it's, uh, it's funny because a couple years ago, back in 2017, I stumbled upon a, a video. The guy's name was Charlie Lee. And he was talking about something called a Litecoin. And that was the beginning of my leap into the subject of cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency, I did a lot of research, uh, definitely initially, and I suffered through the 2018 bear market. So I got in, after watching Charlie Lee's video, I was like, well, you know, this sounds like a, like the the thing to do, and that that had been going from you know I, investing in stock market or gold and silver or whatever, and kind of being a um, just someone who doesn't invest. You know, I here's what I'll say: I spent many years reading every book I could and learning everything I could about how to invest right from Warren Buffett's books to you know, the intelligent investor. I suffered through that entire book, uh, learning how to value companies. And you know what? At the end of it all, I pick some winners, but I usually, I usually got out of those winners too early. So I wasn't buying to hold. I was buying to make short gains short-term gains, and I've just learned that buying to, to gain in the short term, I always lose. I mean, literally, I'll give you an example. I've never been into stock options, but I did that recently. I put, we'll just say, a, an amount of money into a stock option, and it went up 600%. Now, you might say, hey, that's a good return. You should sell it because I made that return 
in less than three weeks. But what did I do? I sold it, and then I bought back in low, and I turned it into another 200%. As it went back up, and I sold it. The problem is I don't know when to stop. <clears throat> you know, it's kind of like you go into the casino, and that's what I see the stock market is now, as, as much as people want to say, oh, well, you should invest. And, you know, if you put your money into something and you never take it out, okay. That's less of a, of a stock market play or a, a casino play. But if you're day trading or, you know, trading even weekly or monthly, you're starting to, you're starting to bridge into that casino mentality because once it takes hold of you, it's hard to, it's hard to stop. And that's what I found myself in. So I got my initial investment all the way up to $120,000. And I pulled it out, and I was happy. And then, and then I saw an opportunity. It was a short-term stock option play. And I'm still learning option, stock option. And, man, I bought it thinking that, you know, I'd make a couple, couple ten grand here and there fairly easily, and it sank. And I watched that thing expire out of the money. And that was painful. But, you know, it was one of the most expensive learning experiences I've ever had especially when it comes to stock options. Now, could I use that money? Heck yeah, I could. I could have used that money. I have not paid off my student loans. I've got a boatload of student loans. i got credit card debt and stuff. I just, I've been wanting to settle and, man, I could have done that. But, instead I chose to, loo to lose and learn a good lesson. What is that good lesson? Stay out of short-term gains. Focus on the long-term. And really, that's what I've been learning this whole experience is focus on the long-term. And so when it, when it came to cryptocurrency, back to that, is I was really focused on the short-term when I got into it. I I bought into Litecoin. I, I think I had like $1,000 extra in savings, and I was like, you know, Let's just see what happens. And I ended up buying in June and watching it uh, go from uh, my initial investment in 10x. So my $1,000 turned into $10,000. Once you see gains like that, that's addicting, man. You. Uh... So anyways, my investing turned heavily into crypto. You know, I I listened to a lot of good advice, and so what I did in the bear market was was I invested, you know, five hundred to a thousand dollars over several months, really over 2018, 2019, even into 2020, and all these different projects I had researched, and you know, through this 2021 bull market, 2020, 2021. I've seen some of them, you know, some of them are still in the red, very few, but some of them are, especially in, in, in regards to Bitcoin, definitely in the red. Not not Bitcoin itself, but when you measure your, call it altcoin, compared to a Bitcoin, I'm still very much in the red on a few, but there were some that went up 600, 1200%. I bought MANA. It was this uh, decentralized, uh, like a, they call it central land, but it's like this land of the internet you can buy. You do all kinds of stuff in it, but anyways, so I watched Mana go from my $500 initial investment to $12,000 over the course of like two months. I cashed out on that one, and yeah, I reinvested in it into uh couple other projects but really 
I guess what I'm saying is you can utilize these bull markets if you're in crypto. Uh, just, you know, the best advice I've, I've ever gotten that I haven't yet, um, that I'm going to, but I haven't yet done is, is pull out the money. Because everything I've invested has just been reinvested. And I'm, I'm holding it for the long term, uh, especially, you know, Bitcoin and stuff. And I don't have much, but... You know, you don't really need much. It's it's a it's a hedge. It's a it's a hedge against really the dollar inflating. It's a hedge against you know it hasn't been proved hedge yet, but I would say it's a hedge. It's it's like gold, and until it's proven otherwise, it is. So hold on to that, and uh, you know I'm really focusing more on how I can generate monthly income um, but everything that I'm I'm focused on it takes time I mean it could be years before I see any benefit from it, all these things I'm working on and I'm okay with that as long as I'm putting food on the table and my wife's okay with that as long as we're putting food on the table so all right midday updates all right midday updates so, what have I gotten done so far today? Actually, a lot. I uh, spent some time on the on the website. I redid the intro, and we're cutting some things out. And I, I'm working with my editor. She she actually may help me as we go forward in telling the story that the Dark Wars from an, like an adult adult style perspective. Maybe close to YA. We'll see. Um, I've written three three of the chapters in the, in the story so far, but the style and the just the way I I wrote it, I know it needs to be edited again. So to have her, uh, her name is Rain, have her on board to to help me kind of get those dialed in and get the next ones out. That's going to be kind of kind of exciting. So I'm excited about that, and I'm going to help my buddy right now. Same buddy, we tore the walls down. We're going to tear some more walls down. And uh, after that, I'll be back to work, back to writing. Hopefully, um, have that website done this week. That's my hope. And, yeah, so it's exciting. Midday update. Maybe maybe you'll even get an end-of-day update today. We'll see. And I also got to post these. So, I'll see you in a bit. Well, hello. Today is Wednesday. I didn't get to you this morning because I had a lot of things going on this morning. I was helping my wife and had a doctor's appointment she took me out to. So, I'm getting to you now. I just kind of want to talk about where we're at with the project. So, where we're at with the project, all of it, it's going great. We're working on the website right now. Um, I'm going to go home and upload three videos to YouTube. I still got to edit them, but I'm going to upload those to YouTube. I'm going to also be working on the final edit of the book so the book's done the copy edit is complete I just have to go through and basically proofread it and then I'm gonna send it out to a proofreader and then we're gonna to begin to format that with all the all the cartoons and cartoons the drawings uh, what's gonna be going in the book and then as I'm doing that I'm gonna be getting the ISBNs done the barcode the all the copyright stuff and all of that I'm doing for the first time. I don't know what to do, so I'm going to be doing some research. And once that's done, we're also, I want to self-publish the coloring book. So we're, we're kind of going to be doing those two, I think, um, together. It's just going to be what the workload looks like. But anyways, I have my editor, Rain, and my artist, Ricardo. And together, we're going to get a lot of content out quickly much faster than I've been able to do in the past, which is, I haven't gotten any content out besides just, you know, the art and some of the written stuff on, like, the blog posts, and, but I feel like we're, 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 we're getting to that peak of the mountain now, and, yeah, when I have new things tomorrow to share with you, I will, so see you tomorrow morning, all right, see you later. Well, good morning. It is 
Thursday. I think. Thursday? Yes, yes. Today was, today's Thursday. All right. So, what am I doing today? Well, I've got to proofread the book. So, i got to go through all 11 chapters of that and make sure it's all straight. And I can send that back to the editor for format. That's awesome. I'm also going to spend most of the day working on just the website. And so my editor and I are going to be working on the actual blog posts. So I'm going to withhold those for a minute, dial matches, and hopefully have the first four or five out within the next month, month or two months, uh, you know, as we're releasing the main book, Isle of Draska. So it's exciting. I mean, it's coming together. And I should have all that. Uh, you know, the website and proofread will be done this week. I'm going to be posting a few more videos of these ones. Uh, I'm still waiting for some inspiration to shoot the next ones. I want to make sure that those are solid and, you know, all the, you know, the sounds right and all that. So I'm working on, you know, I'm working on the microphones. And I'm just learning all this stuff. I've got a good friend who's is pretty smart when it comes to this, so he's going to come help me sometime this week or next week, kind of figure it out and dial it in. Because uh, even with these videos, I know when I post them, the sound, you know, maybe you don't notice, but I mean, it, for me, it's kind of like I want it to be really clear as if I'm, if I, if we're, I was actually really talking to you. So that's where I want to get, and I'm going to keep striving for that, but I mean, I'm just figuring it out now. I have no idea. So, but other than that, what else I got? I mean, I have some other books I'm working on uh, as I have time in between. And, oh, well, uh, along with the Isle of Jurassic book, we're going to be formatting the coloring book, too, so we're just going to release that as well. I mean, that's just kind of a no-brainer. So we're going to do that. What else? Uh, but, yeah, I, th I think that over the coming weeks, I do want to get at least the first video of the... Uh, this uh, sci-fi dystopian uh, well it won't be a, a dystopian to start but it'll be the uh, like the sci-fi thriller that I want to write but I probably won't have time to write, so I'm going to tell it in the YouTube channel so I'm going I'm to have to go back because if you watch some of my other videos when I wrote that story I was having really bad dreams and it got to the point where I just, I had to throw the story away. Um, so everything that I had written, I mean, the whole thing, I put in the trash. Um, but, you know, it's good. It's all good. It's still up here. I just have to sit down and have a couple of days to just get all, all my thoughts and remember the characters. It'll be good. It's going to be really good. So, sorry, a little scatterbrain toward the end of this one. But I'm off to work. It's about 11 o'clock today. I was doing some work at home. So now I'm ready to go. And I'll spend the next probably six or six, seven hours. What I just talked about. And then I'll probably hit the uh, treadmill in the gym for maybe 45 minutes and head home. Well, hello again. Again, it is Thursday, and this is the end of day wrap up. I'm gonna head down to the shop, do a quick workout, and get home, run home. But today was a good success. Book is done, then it's last proofread before format, and it's awesome. It's really good. I'm, I couldn't be happier with it. And man, everything's just coming together. So, what we we're working on today, me and Ricardo is working on a couple of the different uh, images that for the book. So in the last edit, I actually added a scene. And in the scene, it's kind of, uh, it was kind of a, a better opportunity to draw something out with that scene. So we, uh, we took that opportunity. He's drawing that out now. And tomorrow we're meeting to discuss some of the artwork we're going to do for the backgrounds of the website. So I was thinking it would be kind of cool to do, like, the book's background different than the aisle blog back, backdrop and 
I'm going to have Ricardo do a drop, and, and I have a couple ideas of, like, battle scenes and stuff that would be kind of cool that would tie into the books and the, uh, the Isle blog. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and then I'm going to shoot a couple videos to post on each of those um, windows just to kind of give you an idea until we have all the content, like, for the books page, you know, when we have the book out and we have a link to it, you know, description, the cover, cover, t like cover page when we've released all that, we'll, uh, we'll fill it in. But in the meantime, I want to have content on everything and have it workable. That's the goal to get the website ready. So hopefully by the end of next week, the website's kicking and my focus is just on copyrights and all the, all the other stuff that comes with publishing a book, the uh, book blurb those kinds of things. So anyways, that's what I'm up to. Uh, starting tomorrow and then the weekend will be good. We'll take a rest. May shoot some videos. We'll see if I get inspired. I might get inspired because I'm going to go see my friend Freddie tomorrow. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's, uh, he may get me inspired to, to be telling some more stories on YouTube. So we'll see. All right, but that's pretty much it for the end of the day wrap up. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you tomorrow with how far we came and uh, how, how much we were able to get done with planning out the website and what that looks like. And, yeah, everything's rolling. It's rolling. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Well, good morning. It's Friday. Friday's always a good day. And today, I'm going to be finishing that website. Let's get the plans in place, and Cardo's going to go to work. He should be done with the images for the book today, today or tomorrow. And then between him and Rain, we're going to be formatting and putting the book together. Like I said, next week I'll be doing some writing, working on the website a little bit content-wise. Rain's going to be working on the blog posts with me. So basically, every one of those chapters we're going to post, and, and I'm also going to start dedicating time to figuring out all the legal stuff i got to do to protect the book, and and then really what we're going to do in terms of publishing. I think there's a there's a uh, service called Ingram Spark. You can, you can do CreateSpace, too. It's, it's basically like the self-publishing route. CreateSpace is the Amazon uh way to do it so but I think with create space you can only go through Amazon and with Ingram spark you could you know link it up with Amazon you could also you know sell a brick and mortars and and I've done some research and I think that Ingram spark has better quality but we'll see we'll see uh, and what else so it's gonna be a good day we got a meeting with Ricardo at 10 um, I need to get sit down and get all the uh okay this lady's not Yeah, well you look like you were gonna go, lady. Seriously, this is the worst stop sign. Like people have no idea what they're doing. They look all around like <laughs> I feel like it's the you know, the Bermuda Triangle of you type of it's you know, people get get there and they just get completely lost. I mean they're just it was your time to go. Yeah, well, you stopped three times, and you're in the middle of the intersection. I was completely stopped, waiting to see what the hell you were going to do. This is what I'm dealing with. This is my life. Okay. I know. I complain about it every day. So, anyways, anyways, today's going to be a good day. I'll get back to you to midday wrap-up and get these videos posted. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work out. And, ooh. So the other thing I'm going to do today is I'm meeting up, meeting up with my buddy Freddie, and we're going to talk about the stories I'm going to start telling on YouTube, and I'll let you know how that goes. So I'm excited for that because I I haven't uh, I haven't dabbled in that story in a long time. But yeah, good stuff, good stuff. All right, see you in a bit. Hey guys, end of day, end of week wrap up. So what have we gotten accomplished today? And then what have we gotten accomplished this week? So today, what we accomplished was the website. 
website. Everything's planned out, so we're we're ready to go. Ricardo's working on a couple more things. He's going to be doing some backgrounds, and but for the most part, everything's coming together on the website. It should be fully ready to go by the end of next week, if only maybe waiting for uh, one or two more images for Ricardo, which those things take time, so that's no big deal. Those are plug and play. But the website's good. We're working on the story for the Dark Wars. I'm actually shooting a couple videos and, and I'm editing them right now, but kind of what it's all about so we can put that on the website also. So I'm doing several videos and editing right now just for you know explainers and updates. And then, yeah, the, the books in proof and format. So formatting starts next week, which is awesome. And what else? I haven't gone yet, but I'm gonna go meet my friend and we're gonna talk about shooting videos for the David Casada channel. And I may even share them on here, it just depends on, yeah, I might keep them separate, let's keep them separate. So that is gonna be fun. We're gonna kind of play with how, how we'll do the storytelling for that, how we'll shoot it and all that, and it'll be good, it'll be fun. So full, full week, got a lot accomplished this week. I mean, man, it's all coming together. It's all coming together and it's only gonna get better. So that's probably, that's all I got, I think. So I just wanna say thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to get all this stuff done and just really start the snowball going down that hill and see where it takes us. All right, see you next week. Take it easy.